In this short and straightforward video, I'm going to show you how to install Git. As you can see, I have tried running Git command, but I got this error. What does this mean? This means that Git is not installed. A simple Google search downloading Git for Windows will give you this result. Let's just click on the first one. As you can see, this is the official page for downloading Git. You are presented here with a lot of options for Windows, 32-bit or 64-bit. In my case, I am going to download the 64-bit one. As you can see, the download has started. So, in the meantime, let me show you in case you don't know which one must you download, 64 or 32. Just go to your file system and then check on this PC, right click and click properties. Here you will be presented with a lot of information about your computer, but under system type, you can see I am running 64 bit system. Maybe in your case, it might be 32. So you can choose according to what you see here. Let's go back to the downloading file. Okay, as you can see, we are almost there. As soon as it's done, then we are going to continue to install Git. After finishing installing Git, there is nothing that you are going to see special in your own videos just like other application. You will have to use a command line to see if Git has been installed or it has not been installed. So it's only those commands that will tell us if we are winning. As you can see, we are done. Let's just click on it. And then from here, you are presented with the installation process. Just click next. Click next. Click next. Click next. 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 Click next. Click next. Click next. 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 And that is it. Just by clicking next, 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 now we have managed to install Git. So as it's busy processing, we just have to wait for it to finish. Okay, as you can see, the installation has been complete. Just click finish. There is no need for us to view the release note. Okay, let's go back to Visual Studio Code. Okay. As you can see before, I've tried to run this command, but it didn't work. Let's check now after we are done installing git. git dash dash version. Enter. As you can see, it's giving us some errors. Git is not recognized. So what we are going to do. Let's just quickly use CMD instead, or maybe it might mean we have to restart our computer. It dash dash version. As you can see, it's showing us the version of Git. That means we have successfully installed Git. I'm Matthew Singati, the designer and developer. If this video was helpful, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. See you on the next one.